Um, so welcome to episode four, I think, of the Mainly Golf Show. I'm Jack Milner, and considering it is WrestleMania week, I'm joined by two main eventers with Tom the Fish Halliwell <laughs> and Marv. Now we, we're here to look at the Valero Texas Open where, I don't know, I'm still reeling from Scotty Scheffler, not um, getting the job done last week. But Marv, you've done a bit of digging into the uh, stats this week and Rory McIlroy 10 to 1 favourite, not for you. No, I don't quite like the setup of the course for Rory. But why? Uh, I just I just think that Rory's, you know, he's going to be flashing it off the tee. Um, he's not the most controlled I just don't think it'll set up well for him. And two years ago, he missed the cut here. So definitely against Rory this week for me. I'll interrupt very briefly. You've never been a fan of Rory, have you? Uh, I don't mind. I don't mind Rory. He probably falls into the. <laughs> That's cap. nonsense. The, if it wasn't for him sticking up for the PJ against Live Golf, uh, you'd, yeah, let, you'd let me finish. Him. All right. No. S- slicing was, he, he, I think he's probably early on. Despised him, tweak. He probably fell into the category of like, you know, you, he, he I don't want to be. He was very loud. He was very in you know, It's like, come on, Rory, just like do the business first, and then. But then, to be fair to him, we did win all the majors ten years ago. Now, let's not forget that. I still had hair. <laughs> <laughs> still on TV. <laughs> How life has changed in those ten years. Um, but no, I, I think I think that's the thing. I think, if to be honest, Rory McIlroy, and again, you, you could go back to when. Tiger in his prime, he he was more ruthless. He was more he had an attitude, and maybe that's why you know people w- wanted to watch him to see him fail as well. And so, <clears> but now Rory Rory's chill. He's a bit chilled, more, more chilled out. Family, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. And I don't think his golf is just not what it was, you know, ten years ago. So, um, whether he's carrying a lot of pressure with all the live golf stuff, but no, I just I just I think what yeah when Rory's on it, but it's just not. It's not consistent I mean, enough. That's not true in terms of, in the statistics. We we did some thanks to Hep's wonderful strokes um strokes gain stats. He actually peaked in twenty nineteen and twenty twenty two. So he's playing better, but you'd argue and well I think out, well, it was to Hep's point about Scheffler, right? The standard of golf well, is probably better I now. I suppose, but that it was ten years ago. Sometimes you just gotta get get over the line. Um, I just and how many times have we seen Rory come through the field late on a Sunday or he's up there but can't get the job done? Like, um, so it, yeah, for, for me, it's a shame because it, it's incredible. It's incredible. It's ten years since his last major. I ten years ago, I was it's having sh- to sweep sand out of my spare room because Hep would come back from the beach and just leave. Fucking sandcastles in the corner. Not totally new. Probably <laughs> <laughs> that was ten years ago. Actually, yeah, that was uh, yeah. was that the summer so, of clover. See, yeah, but you see, it's interesting because if we go back to last year, okay, um, second summer of clover, and what McElroy won the won the Scottish dinner. Um, he might have did he win? Did he win something else? Sorry, round about then. He's Went not won into... in America for four years. Oh, maybe not. Went, but went into, Cup in but went into the 20, Open. Late 2021. Remember, went into the Open as a big favourite. I just, I, I just, I just wonder if on the big stage, because the longer it goes on, he hasn't won a major. Maybe the bigger the pressure gets. That drought. And 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 let's be honest, winning anything apart from a major now is somewhat irrelevant. Because everyone's going to say, "Well, do you think, Marv, the, the the types of, I mean, sorry to interrupt. When he when he won the Open, it was a uh, Royal St George's, right? Uh, in Liverpool, um, it was a really Ho- soft course. High leg, high yeah. leg. It Matt, was a yeah, really Matt, soft setup, and it, I think he won with fourteen. It was big score. Um, but we were talking off air. The types of players to win like an Open. I mean, I, Brian Harmon. I don't know how he won last year. I, I don't think he'll ever win a major, betting history or otherwise. Um, the Masters and the Open in particular, are, it's a different type of player who wins them. You need to be able to see shots that other players don't even know exist. Like Tiger from the Pine Straw, Phil from 15, you know, the par five, Bubba hooking round trees. Even Sergio, right? 
when he somehow beat Justin Rose, was it 2018, uh, 2017? He said, yes, that could be what we're about, about 17, yeah. Um, you need to just be a different. Rory's just a, he's a modern day, almost like, <laughs> do you know when you used to play like um, SmackDown versus Raw, whatever, back in the day, a creator wrestler. Rory is your creator golfer. He's the, he bombs it really far. He leaves himself with 130 yards of the wedge, sticks it to 12 feet. Excellent. Move on to the next hole. In these big, in these big field tournaments where you've got everybody playing, as you as you alluded to, everybody trying to peak at this specific time, you have to be better than that. I, I yeah, and I I've always I've never really trusted um on a consistent basis McElroy's cost management. I just think mm. um I, I, I might have even fancied him for a tournament last year and he was just I'm thinking look you, you you're on the wrong side of the fairway here McElroy fine the pin's tight you don't need to go for the flag you you know just just middle of the green 20 foot 25 foot if you get par part part worst but no he goes tries to go for the flag comes a bit short then he's got to chip up, get up and down, and then makes a bogey. And you think, you know what I mean? Sometimes it's a case of, I'm not going to drop a shot here. I'm going to move on. You no, know, you can't. So I, I, I'm i not keen on his course management. And you'd think, at, <laughs> coming from me, who am I to say? But you'd think at his age now that he'd have learnt. He'd have learnt that. Um, but I, but I, I, I definitely last year, I can't remember which tournament it was, but... I just, what are you doing? You, 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 I'm sure he was leading or tied, middle of green, 25 foot, easy par, whatever, at least, walk on next hole. No makes a burger. You know, he's, he, he's, um, he, he did it last week at Copperhead. I think the, I think the fourth is like a 389 par four over water. I just he's don't think, rough, I just he's don't think, the he, team ends up hitting the water, makes double, you think? I just don't, I think it's his game. I, I and, and maybe you could say he's a bit like Mickelson that way. Mickelson was always he's going to go for it. And maybe he was never one dimensional though. He would he he would leave himself where he could do like a flop shot and see. It oh well, well, that's it. But then BC then Phil had Phil had the recovery. Phil ability. had the was, Phil had yeah. different shots in oh, his locker where yeah, he yeah, could pull out. Roy doesn't have that. No, I don't. I, I don't think I said hundred hundred yards in. I don't think McElroy, um he can rely on that enough. Um, and I'm sure uh, for quite a few a few years ago, maybe not quite a few, but in the last five or so, his putting's always been suspect as well. Uh, and even if you're kind of like really, you know, you, you're struggling, as long as you can keep your chipping and putting going, you can stay in it. But no, so um, whether he'll win, whether he'll win another major at the moment, I've say no. I just, what well, I suppose last year U.S. Open, what best ever finish in a major without winning it. So you can't say he's not there, but he's got to convert. He's got sometimes you've got to get it over the line now. Again, yeah, I can't see him ever getting the master. You've got to, I mean, you've you've got to just... get her home via Dixie Chicken, get her in a taxi with a chicken burger. You've got to finish the job. <laughs> you just got to. I mean, that's what like Chad wrote. You know. Where's the pal? Uh, speaking of converting, Scotty Sheffield last week, how did he not win the uh, Children's Houston Texas Open? How would you call it? I mean, it's there for him, isn't it? I mean, a bit, bit of a stronger field than Cam Champ did manage to be the week before, but but you're the stat man head. How, what part of his game struggled? That's so. You... <laughs> um, it's a good question actually. I don't actually have stats on me for that to be honest. But yeah, you have to. Did, did, just, he never, he did never. You prepare, to make did you that... prepare for this weekend? Oh. <laughs> I've been driving home from London. <laughs> driving home for Fishmas. <laughs> But he just he never made that killer putt did he on on Sunday like there was so many chances where eventually okay it's not the greatest putt but you know he might roll in a, a twenty footer or an eighteen footer get that one shot lead and then kick on maybe maybe go back to back birdies give himself a shot and then everyone's gonna crumble around him but he just didn't have it and you know we we talked about the the two putt or the free putt on uh, eighteen on Saturday which he double bogeyed from that about five foot. And then he had three water balls, some really unlucky bounces for two of them, I think. But some really soft bounces. Like you know, ridiculous. he doesn't do that. Um, yeah, and then the double bogey cost him. And yeah, you'd think he could maybe you know should we win by two in in that field, but would that put you off men. backing him for the Masters? 
it depends. Like, if you just want entertainment on Sunday afternoon and your guy in contention, he's gonna be there. <laughs> sort of guy to be there on Sunday with a chance. Uh, if you're not, you're not going for each ways, like to, to get your money back. But he's gonna be in the top eight. He's gonna have a chance on Sunday. You know, he's pissing around with some other people at sixty to one that might miss the cut. You just know <laughs> he's gonna be there. And sort of on the McElroy thing. I'm like, gonna bet you, Tommy Fleetwood. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like last week, Scotty was. A third of the odds of McElroy, and we were all saying back him, smash it. It's uh, he's gonna win, and you know, we're not scared of McElroy at all this week. Like, I'm not betting on other people and thinking, oh no, McElroy's there to how how are they gonna beat McElroy? But last week, you think, how could these people actually beat Scheffler? And yeah, one of the 150 people in the tournament ended up doing it by a shot, but. Let me give you a comparison. Would you rather back McElroy at ten to one for the Texas Open or eleven to one for the Masters? Well, clearly for the Texas Open, because really, well, yeah, because he's only got to beat Aberg and Matsuyama and Spieth. And you can call him a decade. It's fine. It's on our. Yeah, I know. I should have said, obviously yeah. said decade. It's Aberg and all that, but. I mean, obviously, you're going to take. That's a bit the... flippant. Like Corey Connors is the defending champion. You got Max Homer, Matt Fitzpatrick. Christ. Yeah, but the Masters is everybody. The Masters is the top 100 golfers in the world. So Minus why is Rory so short for Augusta? Well, everyone's short for Augusta. Like, I think 50% of people will be higher odds next week once we get to Augusta week. But the books just don't want to be arse raped in future bets. So all the prices are low. And then Okay, then let me go through them. Would people. you rather back Ludwig Aberg at 12s this week or 25s next week? I think you just have to take this. Yeah, have a bad <laughs> ball. Yeah. In a give, me, give me Oberg. <laughs> any, yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, I mean, yeah, but just strength of competition. There's going to be 30 other it's, it's just good interesting, right? next like, week that aren't playing this week. And it's, yeah, of course, you like you take the, the slide. Okay, another one, right? Fitzpatrick, 28 this week or 40 next week. I think Fitzpatrick is much better bet this week. Yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. Fitz value than the, the, Masters. the Masters. It's far too long for, for him. It's just, it's just interesting how if you could pick apart to the best prices, how they compare. Another one would be like Alex Noren um, is a proper greens and regulation merchant. You know, Tita Green, very steady. He's 33s this week. I think it's like uh, 150 to 1 for the Masters. I wouldn't touch him. No. At any prices for Augusta, but I could see him well able to sneak into a place this week. At so, yeah, he, he was my first look on Monday morning, but it was all driven by that good Sunday he had. He, like, he was nowhere, and then he, he shot a, a minus six or something on Sunday to start start fifth. So, yeah, I mean, like you're saying, this, this course is it dilutes the driver, so like. Rory and Ludberg's main weapon is sort of diluted a bit, and it is just the plodders and Team No Put can win here. Obviously, if, if Connors wins here twice, you don't need to be a a put in master to uh to have a chance. Should have played this week. <laughs> yeah, just. <laughs> but yeah, like I'm not scared of fading Rory at all at the, the top. Of thing this is, board. anybody. Any anybody that is a big Rory fan could easily look at ten to one and think they've Christmas has come early. It's just, I guess, I guess we have don't have the faith in him that that he's consistent enough. And but but on any given day, you know, I, I know everyone says well on any given day, but on any given day, Rory's best beats nearly everybody else's best on their day. You've got you could easily throw Rory on his at his best in with Sheffield at his best. There ain't many. It's just at Rory. He just doesn't bring it enough to to have any conviction for us to. That, uh, that's what I think I the biggest make... sell job he did tweak was that he's eleven for the Masters. That, that's the biggest sell job I'm betting him this week is. Uh, he it's a pointless against yeah. a much a much weaker. I mean, field. for me, I don't remember Rory having four good days in a row since. Mm. Maybe I was just looking at open. first round leader. He's he's twenty five to one first round leader. I just I, probably I a better bet I, than. I, uh, I wouldn't Tony be comfortable anymore. backing him at any prices. That's the problem. You, I think, if you're. Betting on somebody, you have to feel comfort they are going to give you value for money. And I, you want somebody kind of 
scratching and clawing their way to a score. Um, yeah, it's like, I said, like a speed, well, like, speed was Sheffield in the Masters, you know he's going to be top eight. You're going to get value for money. Sh- Sheffield, you know he's going, to, he's going to find a way to like he's he's going to oh, okay, pick that left right. I'm going to try and hook that round to the right, give myself forty foot two put move on. All right, next hole. Um, I don't think Rory has that type of. No, he sounds almost insulting. But I don't. I don't think he has that brain, that mindset to like. Oh, okay, let's try and play clever here. I, 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 no, I'm going to go this way. Well, now you've short sighted yourself, Rory, yeah. and now you've got twelve foot apart. I, I think sad. he's a bit all or nothing, to be honest, Rory. Yeah, James. yeah. But because nice. he had so much success, Marv, in his early years, why would you change? <laughs> it's very hard to change your culture. It, yeah, it is. Your it's just. It's just, just that behavior. when you are. I think when you're making that many unforced errors in critical moments, um, surely you have to just you have to really think about. Yeah, like I said I come back to I I, I can't really I remember it was it was like it was down the left hand side. It was a big tournament last year. The left side of the fairway, either joint leader just behind, maybe like second round. So it was early in the tournament still. I'm thinking, okay, the pin's tucked behind a bunker. It's on the second tier of the green. Yeah, but Rory, you're yeah, but... preferred shot is a draw. You ain't. How can you get it close? Right, middle of the green, and said he went at the flag, came up short, had to chip up to the top level, made a bogey, and it's just wow. I just think wow. I just think that's not <laughs> top level golf course management at all. I'm just there up as another cheeseburger. Going, well, I'm thinking look at this shit. what? It's, it's just it's just. <laughs> And it's like his second. And Larry he's, came on the screen. He's, <laughs> but but and even the second shot was a good, like fifteen twenty yards short of of the distance anyway. I I just think it's 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 an interesting. Well, maybe he was much more fearless back then when he was younger. He was like, I don't. I'm gonna go to the flag. Whatever. I'll. Re-. And you are maybe you know if I go to the flag, and I don't hit the green, I, I through the whatever. I'll chip and put. I'll get par. I don't care. But now it's like. You know, yeah. it's pressure. hard to cr- criticize Baz Ball in cricket, but it's mm. like those slogging, you know, middle order batsmen that come in four down and then just go on a wild swipe. Oh, I'm counter attacking. That's my nature. It's like you, know, you got to adapt sometimes. You mm. got to, you can't just go for it all the time. You've got yeah, to... but... Do you know what? Um, I spoke with Jess on Sunday to tell about our news. He goes, I've actually listened to your podcast. Does Harvey really not like fat people? <laughs> <laughs> I think she said Marv. Does Marv not really like fat people? Like, um, not really, no. Why? Because well, you're not better. Um, but she actually did listen to it. Can we just can we just clarify who this person is? Who have just... who just my 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 late father's widow. Oh, sorry. I should have remembered. Um <laughs> it's not that, it's oh, we don't have to start this conversation up again. <laughs> what do you, you have for your team, Marv? Uh, yeah, look, I'm not a professional sportsman. <laughs> <laughs> what, monk, what monk have you got there? Uh, of the donut variety. <laughs> the amount of times we're getting like a message in our group chat going, hey, very filthy look I've just got as I bought another dozen Krispy Kreme donuts. <laughs> I haven't been there. Used for... to, they used to recognise Marvin without I haven't, me. I haven't been different... there for at, like, at least a month. They used to recognise him in the drive-throughs, going, "Come here, should you come here a lot, love?" <laughs> have Shout you out. already been here today? <laughs> Shout, out Tom... Shout out, Tom. Shout out, Tom Reeve. <laughs> oh my good keep a lot. Yeah, back in the day, the three of us would be hitting the uh, McDonald's and KFC drive-throughs back yeah, to back. Look like. It's not my fault that Monopoly, uh, sorry, McDonald's introduced Monopoly, is it? It's fucking like, McDonald's fault, isn't it? Try collect, go and try and collect them all. <laughs> I think that's Pokemon, but um, we digress. Hey, who, who you are, give us some picks this week, because you said you don't like, you kind of do like Alex Norman, but you don't. I think I'm going to surprise you with this first one, because this is somebody that I always mock you for backing, and I traditionally It will be a stats-based like. pick. So my first pick is Hideki Matsuyama at twenty to one. Last four events, love Hideki around here. T twenty two or better, including a win at the Genesis. Tied thirtieth the year before. He's number one strokes gained T to green. Strokes gained. <laughs> number one player T to green this year in this tournament. He's behind Scotty Zander and Si Wu. Um, 
yeah, I think Iria sets up really nicely for Decky. As you said, Team No Puck can win this. Corey Connors has won it twice. It's, uh, yeah, I think Decky's going to be there or thereabouts. And I'll be backing him on the nose at 20 to 1. And my second pick further out is uh, Andrew Novak at 100 to 1 is my each way. Who pick. the fuck is Andrew <laughs> Novak? In his last six starts, he's had three top tens at a T17. He's about seventh in the field, T to green. Is that on the Corn Ferry Tour or something? Like what? No, this is a <laughs> PGA Tour player, Bob. Wow. He was ninth here last year. He's 18th T to green this season, and he's about seventh in the field. Um, so, yeah, 100 to 1. My long shot is Andrew Novak. Interesting. I I really like Decky around here. I think in my head, he Decky is so much better at these almost like second tier events because when there's no pressure on him, um, I think he gets so much attention from the the press, especially in Asia and the Japanese media when he's playing bigger tournaments, and and that puts so much pressure on him, especially after winning the Masters, right? Yeah, um, I think he's already won the Genesis this year, which was an elevated event. So he's sort of free rolling. He put the, it uh... unbelievable, didn't he? I think he shot. I think in the in the third round, I think he shot maybe sixty four. I think he was eight under bogey three, and he was pretty comfortable. But he decky twenty to one. I think is. I agree with you. I think it's a big price. Um, third favorite, but yeah, I like I like the twenty. I wouldn't trust Rory. I wouldn't trust Aberg. Played here once two years ago on a sponsored invite. He missed the cut. Um, I, I don't like Corey Connors because I don't trust his short game. I know he's won here twice. And when he won here last year, me and Hep were saying off air, well, I don't know what you were doing, Marv, probably trimming your beard. Um, I backed the guy who was leading into the last round, Patrick Rogers, who never looked anywhere near in contention. Like, proper dithery, bogey early on. Patrick Rogers, um, yeah, I think he, he ended up <laughs> ended up birding two out of the last four to just get a bit of placement, which I was very thankful for. But you look down the field like Max Homer, not in great form. Fitzpatrick, not really. Morikawa, no. Alex Noren, his figures have been inflated by that round of the week. Billy Horschel, likewise. I think he had two very good rounds of the weekend last week. But I wouldn't trust Billy Horschel. I think he's been in poor form the last 18 months. Brian Harmon, likewise. Fleetwood, English Ben Ann. It's not a strong field. I like Russell Henley. I think uh, Russell's got a very good short game. 50 to 1 with 365 is a big price. Um, there's really? not a lot else you got. I think, Marv, have you mentioned Matt Cooch yet? Um, just waiting for the right moment. Yeah, I. <laughs> anyway. I ended up looking down the list and I couldn't really find anybody that really jumped out in terms of sort of accuracy um, for me. So that was my key thing for this week, but also sort of a steady player, um, nothing too special, nothing fancy. Um, so the Jack based, on, based on really just course form around here last few years, I've got uh, Ricky Fowler. He um, tied 10th last year. He did actually miss the cut in 22, but... Is he not one? You, did you used to hear Fowler? Uh, he just I just thought it was overrated when he came through. Everyone was talking him up as the next big thing, but in, he, he, he he did win that award, didn't he? The, the year he won the players, he won that anonymous vote on tour, which was most overrated player on tour. Really I just I just, but yeah. So I got Fowler, and um, it's because he's got sick hair. <laughs> and 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 then actually, a uh, guy who I've backed before, cool. Sure. Tied yeah, third, I mean, tied third well, last year, and then the year before tied second, and even in twenty one he was tied twelfth, like one hundred twenty five to one. Um, he might be getting on a bit, but so those he are the Valspar, didn't he? Those are two more players that will um very lucky that'll, that'll probably miss the cut as well for me. So I'm. <laughs> Stacking those missed cuts since we started the show. Well, well I, had, I had mentioned the Valspar there. Like, Kucha was all but surely missing the cut, and he played the back nine. I think he played the course of the way around in four under to sneak in by one, and then played really well over the weekend. I think he ended up finishing tied 20th ahead, something like that. I would say, yeah, something like that. Come on, Stato. Fucking hell, do your job. <laughs> what do you think <laughs> of your job with this podcast? Well, you're for the eye candy, are you? Back of that hoodie. 
shut up. What do you think I'm going in front of me? What sort of date? What size do you want this mainly, uh, mainly golf shirt in? Gucci finished uh, uh, tied 49th. Tied at the Valspar. But, Marv, are you, are you backing Gucci with the idea that he, he's not going to win, but he, he, he could get a bit of place money? Yeah, well, at those prices, yeah. So, who are we tipping up with? Nick, give a bookmaker's price. Um, let me just look. So, top price. So, Gucci's 142. With, with I'll tell you but he's only four or five places, right? Yeah, and I, th- I think 125 was generally... 125 Sky, but eight places. That's that's a fair. Yeah, bet. that's fair. And 25 to one for a place. And I think Ricky is eight is with same firm for eight places. So those would be the two. I'd probably just split it two and a half each. Although, way. if you've been self excluded with any one of those pairing companies, you can get on. So you know, um, rolls us two out. Anyway. Yeah. Uh, I don't think there's anybody in the list that I can get on with then. Petbet.com. And I'll take your money, Bob. <laughs> it, 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 it pell back operational. <laughs> yeah, I think Alex Gibbs would put him out of business, didn't he? Yeah. Just did a runner. Uh, sorry, Gibbo. Um, any, anything, like I was saying to you in the week, Alejandro Toste did not like him at all. Like the fist bumps after making like a four foot bar, but vamos. Like, I thought you'd love him. He's, he's not there to make friends, he's he's there to make money. Like, apparently, he's he's had a, he had a really tough upbringing, like, really, really poor. So, like, you know, this money means whereas you mean really poor. I lived on Myrtle Grove in Cornwall with Big Jim. Don't give me tough upbringing, no, not as tough I as the to live Macaulay, not as tough as the toaster. He's from Rosario. All right, they kept mentioning on comment. That's from where uh, Lionel Messi's from. Like, right? What does it even mean? <laughs> the fact. <laughs> Cheers, uh, um, CBS. But would you be interested this week at one twenty fives? That's a no. I would you just say yes. I mean, it's the, I mean, I did see his yeah one fifties on Bet three six five. I was scrolling down and it, it does stick out compared to the. Uh, yeah, it's finished last week, but I haven't dug too deep into Toasty, I'll be honest. You haven't done too much um, in the stats yet. I mean, too busy. Not, not all bridge. the way down to 150 to 1 shots, no. Sam Ryan is another one with course form and has been in good form lately. I think he's another one that, if you're looking for an each way bet, 100 to 1 eight places, he could probably get you uninterested over the weekend. Um, is it just a case of everyone's kind of waiting this week to get over and then look towards Augusta. I think so. It's like, does the winner of this get exemption into Augusta or is it roll over? Yeah, the, the, the winner will definitely get through that, yeah. I think, yeah, basically it's uh, last last shot for a few to get in, isn't it? And then mm-hmm. probably it's... Uh, yeah, It'll be interesting to see if the, the coverage actually alludes to that rather than just talking about the Aeon Risk Reward Challenge or the... Uh, I love the, the swing. Then it's got points. Don't give a shit. <laughs> Wait till it's August and then start talking about it. Otherwise... You two thinking of going back in on Joel Damon at 175s? Did he uh, live up uh, to uh, your expectations last week? Tried, tried to forget about him. <laughs> after last do, we, do we get anything back on DraftKings this week, Kev? Uh Minimal. We, we can afford it of a few teams this week. No, no, I mean, go, go again. Go again. I, I really like Nakajima last week as well. It's so annoying he's only one team. But uh, and you only you doubled him with Scotty, right? That was your only bet on <laughs> Christian Bazuda now had fifty to one. Talk to me. How, how is Henley fifty to one? That's we're taking Decky, right? That that's the, the loser that you normally back that I'm betting. I'm not taking Bez <laughs> as well. Like, you can keep Bez. I, I'm trying to, how is Russell Henley shouldn't be 50 to 1? No, he, he fits. I mean, the, the, there's a lot in that sort of late 20s to 50 range that fits the plodder, you know, the Harmon, the Henley sort of that type of golf. You, somebody who's good between it, like 150 to 200 yards. Um, I can't because he was 40s on Bet365. I can't. I can't really understand. Obviously, there's no money going on him, but 
he doesn't seem like the sort of player that would drift this week. Has he started drifting since Twig mentioned him? Yeah, <laughs> since, since, since Twig bet him on Tuesday, he drifted <laughs> 10 points. I will say this, Ed. Someone you've mentioned for the last few weeks, Aaron Rice, 62-1. He played well last week. I know he, he birded 60 and 17, so it's kind of conflated. Um, would you not be tempted by him? I'm guessing he'd be like one of your type of drafting type staple. Yeah, uh, I think so. He's quite yeah, cheap, right? Because yeah. he's he wears two gloves. He's English. He's Asian. So Americans go, who the fuck's this guy? <laughs> he's like, oh, exactly. Justin Rose. Oh, Justin Rose. Lovely boy. He speaks very well. <laughs> but yeah, he's had a couple of good results since coming back. I think Players was his uh, first tournament back for a while. And, and since then, he's had a... Uh, okay, it was cut the Valspar. He's seven foot Houston. That's where we were. And then yeah, he, so, he was uh, decent so. at, at the players uh, and then tailed off the weekend to finish T35. Why does he wear two gloves? Just like, I don't know, blisties. Ma, Ma, have, Ma, you, have, have you ever tried two, two gloves? gloves? <laughs> Never. You ever, you ever had sex with two condoms? Strange question for this show, Twig. <laughs> I always had to... I always had to... Well, no. I always had to wear a white glove um, playing I'm golf. So I don't know why you said white glove because I thought that was weird. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> Different direction. I always had to yeah. wear a white Johnny Twig. You know what I mean? I, rem- I remember there see was um, in the dark. There was there was a guy on two Goodness. years ago called Tommy Gainey. Tommy Two Gloves. <laughs> two Gloves. Tommy Gainey. Yeah. Um, why well, do you wear a white glove, Marv? I don't know. It lost all the other. Tiger must have wore it, obviously. Oh, a lot of a lot of most pros did. I just thought it was like it had to be um, white glove and like the, the foot joy golf shoes back in the day had to be a certain style, like white down the sides with like either black or dark brown over the top. I don't know. Just but... Shane Lowry style. <sighs> I don't know what he wears. He wears everything black and white, like awfully colours. But um. No, it's got to be a white glove. White glove looks better than a black glove or a blue. A little blue psychopath. There you go. Fashion chips for the Marvin one. Marv, confirm your uh, tips for the week, please. I've got Ricky Fowler and Matt Kuchar. Yeah, points break down prices. Come on. People want to know your profit. <laughs> um, a lot of 10 points after this week, probably. <laughs> <laughs> um, so Ricky Fowler is a uh, 80s, 80 to 1 with Skybet, um, two and a half each way, and let's go the same stake with Matt Kuchar at 125s uh, with the same firm, Skybet, eight places. 125s for Kuchar and 80s for Ricky Fowler. Heppo, give us your uh, five, 10 points uh, for the week and your lay as well. Going to six points on Decky, uh, 20 six, to 1. Six point win. Uh, yeah, six point win. And Two each way on Andrew Novak, uh, hundreds to one. Uh, and the lay is going to be Tommy Fleetwood. Uh, if we're going T to green stats for the other two, then Fleetwood's at the tail end of the, the field this week at like 140 ish ranked. Uh, 157th this season, T to green year to date. So, yeah. No, no. Tommy me. isn't one that you normally associate with having like a really good. I mean, he. I think he's a, he's got a good scrambling game, but I don't have him in my head as like a great putter. Or... That's you. No, you're saying and he that's been well carrying his. The has you know, been carrying him all season so far. I mean, I think his stats are skewed slightly by maybe the players or something like that, where he had like a lot of water balls. Um, I think was it in the third round he made like 140 feet. Of Pups and then going to like tied six and then messing with the last round. But yeah, I I think but in yeah, my head, Tommy Fleet was not like a guy's clutch. No, Florida's normally like a strong swing for him, and he's he's not done anything really. He was he did play very well, but he won he won I think out in Dubai, right? He beat Rory. Uh he did. when he birdied, I want to say like birdie 16, 17, 18, and and Rory Bogey, one of those three, but um yeah, I can respect it. Um, Just to like jump it. in, my lay of the my lay of the week is Rory to make the cup. Well, we started that with. I mean, that was obviously Stevie Wonder could see that. I'll just put it out there for the listeners if they've uh, forgotten. <laughs> All seven of them. Yeah, yeah. Well, we got that many. 
Yeah. <laughs> I had a hundred downloads in three weeks, so okay. somebody's listening. Um, and my picks, I do like Russell. Uh, Russell Henley fifty to one is ridiculous. Like, no, five people. points each way. Russell Henley fifty five to one to the odds first. Uh, fifty to one to the... Do we have to pick, do we have to pick two? Is that the rules? I, I, can't, I can't remember. Yes, it is because that's why you. <laughs> what? Each way in Shepherd's week, you wouldn't allow me. All right, right. Uh, four points each way on Russell Henley at 51. And uh, (laughs) who else got packed? (laughs) Um, Fowler and Kucha, but Mouth put them up. We can't have them. One point each way on. Patrick Rogers, hundred to one. Like he, he, Rog. he should have done better this like this time last year, and he's asked for <laughs> out. I think Henley, like Rogers, is one of those guys. If he can come from behind and get in contention, it's just this this PGA Tour field, this set of players without the guys who've gone to live, they're just so not used to being in contention. Uh and as we saw last week at the in Houston. Nobody went and won that tournament. Jaeger kind of just fell in, right? He, he didn't have a hook, he didn't like make a 10 foot of a birdie to win. He missed yeah, a 30 one of, one foot of them, and then Sheffler missed one, and then he started crying. You want one of these guys to just kind of like creep in and hope nobody else does it by. I do think Hideki is probably the most likely winner, despite the fact he's third favorite. He's, I mean, we haven't mentioned Spieth at all. Nobody, nobody fancying him to, uh, Get his second win here. How could you back Jordan with any form of confidence? Yeah, I lo- I, I love Jordan, right? I, I'm a big speed fan, but you are asking a lot of trust in a man who could easily make a seven as he got a two. Marv is speed another one because he was heralded as like the next Tiger. You hate him as well. Um, no, I don't think he never really had that kind of. Flash about him. Uh, it was just more of a. Oh, he, well, he always seemed to be. You know, he had a couple of years when he just hold every single putt he looked at. He. But, but I, I, and, and I think what he won his majors in. It's an easy sh- one time. Shorts. Or... He maybe nah, uh, he, he won his majors um in a short space of time, didn't he? Has he got th- three in total? Is it an Open, a uh, Masters, and a? Didn't he win the U.S. Open at Chambers? He Bay? did it at Chambers Bay, which was is a Chambers... awful course where. He, Oh my God, Brandon! On on Brandon Grace did, at 150. Did, Brandon Jones... Grace was the 16th driver Just... par four, hit it out of bounds. I'm trying oh. to think, did, did Dustin Johnson three put the last or something to not? To... And the last, eight, I think 18 was a par five, and oh, DJ hit his eagle put to eight feet. Was it, was it that? Passed the playoff and speed won uh, the first hole. But no, he, he never speed never. Yeah, I I do put him just back into that kind of bit of a grinder type player, but. Um, he was, but that was like seven, eight years ago. Mm. I'm just looking down. Full. I don't know why but Wyndham Clark is in some lists for this week, but he's not playing this week. Yeah, I don't. I don't know why he's appeared in the list. It's very odd. Um, but no, couldn't have. Couldn't have John Spieth to be honest. I couldn't even tell you. I was, I was wondering when last time he won actually John Spieth. Uh, I think two it might years. Might be ago. this one two years ago. Yeah, two yeah. years ago. I oh, don't no, actually three years ago this one. JJ Spawn won it two years ago. I, that, I don't know where you were earlier, uh, Marv. I was saying the hip. JJ Spawn made like three, four, five, like par puts between the five and ten feet. You may think this guy's going to miss and fuck off. And he kind of just hung around. And after he made, I think he came into the last round with the, with the lead, made double at the first. You think oh, he's, he's gone. And uh, like fair play, hung, hung in there, won by two. But you would never... He's one of those guys where you, where you see people who win major, you think, he's never going to win again. Like, this was your one time. Savour it, enjoy it, but... You're gone. Yeah, I'm just looking back. See, Spieth's only won twice since 2017. That's oh, ridiculous. Tw- twi- two, tw- That's two twice in seven years. That's... Wow. Yeah, and we... And we... I know he's never in McElroy's class, but we we throw shade at McElroy, don't we? And he still wins a couple every year. But yeah, 
I thought Spieth had gone completely off the boil over the last few years. Marv, Spieth this week at 22 to 1 or Spieth at the um, yes. Masters at 25s? I don't want to say neither, but um, you see, just looking down Spieth's Masters um, record, you see. Last Unreal, year, Augusta. Last, Unreal. Exactly. Last year, there's a tied fourth. Um, they're going back in like year order, cut, tied third. Tied Should we Oh, it's it's. 19? That's it. It's, I said it. It comes back to my belief that Masters is more than any other course. Um, you know, if you like it around there, you you know you can you, you know your way around. Um, you know what you know where to miss it. Importantly, you know, didn't help to... uh, Cabrera out of jail yet. Should we back in? What price is he? I, I do, yeah. <laughs> funnily enough, I think I read that they didn't that they've not allowed him. To play this year, yeah, he, he wanted to. Served um, his time, man. Of course, he wanted to. <laughs> yeah, I mean, so well, I don't, just... I don't know if I don't know if because of what he got um, sent down for his what visa. Did he get sent down for? I think it was rape. Yeah, I think it was something like that of domestic violence or something where. I'm sure that basically. Oh, we all get a bit annoyed if, if tea's not on the table in time. <laughs> you know what I mean, well, um, yeah, so, but. <laughs> I think he's. I don't know if his visa has just been based like, look, we're not allowing you in the country. I don't know if it's, <laughs> it's, it's, it's quite like that, you know. Coral um, are offering a thousand to one on him. <laughs> so <I'm not laughs> let me just, let me just, I better just, I better just search him because I've just, I've just done him an injustice like I did with. Uh, <laughs> yeah, a bit of slams. <laughs> <laughs> how did, together. How did Lionel Hutz on the phone going, how, uh, Marv, how, without any. How many uh, more golfers are going to, yeah, join up? Now. Maybe like a, have a look at the price of a Freddie Couples. We may we may have a special guest next week. By the way, I'll, I'll let you know the end of the time. Special guest. But, um, yeah, here we go. At, at, of the Daily Mail online reputable uh, tab. Yeah, they got me sacked. Or, yeah, cheers, man. Uh, Angel Cabrera will not play the Masters after the 2009 Champions U.S. visa was denied. Following the 54-year-old's 30-month prison sentence for domestic violence, so I was actually accurate. So that isn't slander for once. <laughs> On a lighter note, Marv, if you were to put your ten points each, ten points hypothetically at this point, where would you be looking at for the Masters next week? Hey, from me a curveball there, Twig. Let me just bring up the market. I can go through the market. We've got Sheffield Fours, Rory 11, Ram 12. Ram 12 is big. Uh, you see, look, at, okay, I've, got, I've, got, I've got it up. Well, I've got it up on the uh, on Betfair, actually. Now, how is... And I, I might just pronounce How's Ludwig Eberg, like, eighth? How, third, how is... Off, how is really. Was it Joachim Neiman? <laughs> is he a live Quack golfer team. now? Is he a live golfer now? Yeah, yeah. He's, he's won he's, twice. He's seventh in the betting. Couldn't tell you his record round Augusta. Now maybe he's got a bit of course form, but Hep loves me. Uh, Hep would always back him. I'd be it's looking live for Marv. He's, he's yeah dominating on live this year. Just scrolling down because I just generally don't have. Don't know, Twig. Head? Yeah, pass. Move on. <laughs> um, I mean, Hoff- for me, Hovland 28 looks big. Hideki 28 looks big. I mean, I'd like to... Yeah, I think, yeah, like I keep saying, we're going to get bigger prices next week on most of these people. But given current what Figala, he's a bit of a Spiefian comp. Hey, what up, Bryson Forties? Yeah, Bryson. I was scrolling back up to him. A bit of Bryson, like Bryson this week as well at Doral. Have you had a look at Live Golf? I mean, 
Do you guys know the course much, Doral? I don't think the PGA has played there in a while, but I think they used oh, to. Oh, Doral. Really? Um, that's a Trump course, right? Yeah, before it went Trump, I think the PGA played there a few times. But Did it, was it a, a, le- a long course? I really think, course. Yeah, I think it used to be one of the world venues for the World Golf Championships events. A lot of water, long course, as you were saying. I'm sure, I'm sure. Price in the 10s seems... Uh, Tigers will not there. That, that's what I mean. That's what I remember. You're going back, obviously, 10 plus... But I remember it was, always, it was always called as Doral. You know, that was. The guy was basically head of sports book at um, Bet Victor. Chris Edwards was always talking to me about golf. Doral. Ram. Perfect game for it. But yeah, that's where it is this week. So. I think they might have held it last day. Did they hold it there last year as well? I know Trump's courses have been on the circuit at least. For I think they than... held. Uh, the final where they do like the team championship, however that works, I believe that was held at Doral. So like their season ender. Not that I didn't watch any of it, and I'm not sure who won. I think Bryson's team won. So yeah, I, I quite like him. Uh, I think I've already got a double on Bryson and Decky this week. So. Here we here we go. It was the uh, WGC. <laughs> he Doral held 2007 to 2016. Uh, um, it had a couple of different names, but one of the names was the Cadillac. But it was, it was a World Cup championship. Bubble, but I think Bubble were around there. I mean, the course is called the Blue Monster. Like, how, yeah, yeah. Can't get better than that, can Definitely you? sounds very familiar, that. Did Bubble Watson win? Uh, I'm looking down the list. Front of Tag Tag won it seven times at that well not that course, <laughs> but it won that it won that World Golf Championship. Um wow. in fact, look like probably like bu- 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 can't see him. I definitely backed him there a few times. Anyway, if you're a tournament organizer and you know Tiger's won there so many times, you just keep it there. If you know he's gonna turn up, if Tiger turns up. We, we get. I tell you, turn up through yeah. the turnstiles, so we get people watching on TV. I it's, tell you when he won. He won in 2013. Um, he, when he, uh, I think Rose and uh, see Tiger. I think he, he, that was still when he wasn't quite back to world number one. So it was still a decent price for his, some of the early tournaments in. Are you, you going to have to time this mouth? Not really. Uh, I, I just remember. I remember that he won because I fancied um, Tiger and, and Justin Rose that week. Um, it would have went back to back, and even he won two. And, uh, yeah, because well. he might have, he won he won a few. Well, he got back to world number one that year, and obviously that was the Masters when he. Um, and I remember watching a video of it in, in a week in last week or so ago at the Masters. I think the second round where he was one behind the lead, and as the um, third shot on the fifteenth, because um, he laid up, um, hit the flag with the wedge shot. Spun That's back sick. into the into into the stream, um, dropped it, and then obviously then he made but he did make bogey. Um, I'm I'm sure it was the second round, but then how do you remember this? One of the um, well I said I watched the video on it. The legend um, of Mister Wilkes. Um, in the last week or so, and there was um a, a, an ex a pre an ex PGA two official watching at home, and he was like. I'm sure Tiger's not dropped the ball where he should have done for his what would have oh, been his fifth yeah. shot, and he contacted the PGA through his contacts. <laughs> you know, he's he, he, like, like you know, some some absolute I don't want to say jobs worth, but someone thought that he was something, um, and obviously then they reviewed the footage. Um, it's an interesting. I'm sure it was on YouTube a video about it. Uh, I'll try and find it for you, Hep, or even Twig if you. But um, yeah, no. so effectively, then Tiger got Tiger got a. A two-stroke penalty, I think. You know, and some players thought that he should have, um, you know, been disqualified because he, you know, signed for the wrong card as such. But I think the rule basically that they said that well, none of the officials spotted at the time, so it was only after the event. And then obviously the whole change of rules whereby somebody could have just phoned in from home and say, "Oh, that's wrong," and then. But I remember, yeah, I, I, I he could have easily won the Masters that year if he um. Who won it, Bubba? <laughs> 2013, was it? Was it? No, I think 2012. 13, was it Adam Scott in 2013? I don't think Adam Scott won the Masters, right? 
Yeah, I think he did, you know, because that's what um, he won it with. Um, uh, who was it? He's that, that caddy. Uh, uh, Ted Scott. Oh, uh, not Ted Scott. Tigers at the caddy. Yeah. yeah. Are you hate right. Steve. Steve Williams. Was it Williams? Is it Williams? Yeah. I'm just bringing it up. I'm sure 2013. Because did Ted Scott win in the playoff? For some reason. I don't know if I hate him. Do I? Do I? Yeah, you used to hate him. I don't know. Do I? Do I? <laughs> Put my words in my mouth here, Twig. Um, just scrolling down, two thousand. Yeah, Adam Scott. Years ago. I, here we go. Here we go. And Angel Cabrera comes back into the conversation. Yeah, he beat Adam Scott. Beat Angel Cabrera in two thousand thirteen in a playoff. I remember because I think Scott birded the tenth. And the tenth might have been whether it was the first hole, or the second hole of the playoff. Um, he held like a twenty footer across the green. And I'm sure he made birdie. Um, we can leave Martha's talk for next week. In uh, well, you start uh, it. <laughs> yes yeah, so or no, I don't have any person that I fancy for next week yet. That's a long way of answering that question. Hey, confirm your picks for the, for the uh, weekend, please. Uh, Decky, Decky Novak each way, Novak. and Bryson DeChambeau will live. No, oh, yeah, I thought you were about Andrew Novak. Yeah, Decky and Novak, and then. Also you got live. ten points each way. Where are they going? Yeah, like ten I, points. We're just, we're just discussing live. So like six six on Decky, two each way on Novak, and then if anybody, no, you got no left on Bryson. I'm not. I'm just saying if anyone's interested of the seven listeners and the two that are left. Oh, so after ten, hour, ten points. And the the Albanian, whoever he is, listening. <laughs> yeah. We love you, Albania. Yeah. Um, my, my, oh, I tell the Albanian. I'm just looking down. Ricky Fowler and Matt Kuchar, two and a half points each way. I think it was it 80s and 125s with Skybet. Be back in that double to miss. I mean, the, the numbers yeah, are really yeah, for definitely hep. <laughs> and and to be honest, I, th- I think if neither of them withdraw after the first round, I've done all right. <laughs> after some guy Barnes was it two weeks ago? What the fuck was he doing? <laughs> are you? Why are you? Tipping people up if you're not back, if you don't even watch any golf. No, I, I, did I put him in the. Um, Why are you on this podcast? The, it, it, yeah, I ask myself every week. <laughs> <laughs> Why have I got a webcam and microphone? Why have I even. Dressing like, gown. Look? Why have I put hair fibers in that just to look good <laughs> on the camera? <laughs> Where's <of> these plugs? <laughs> right, and I'm going to go. You just, you just get me on as a stooge twig. Is that what it is? You're going to have a comic relief. <laughs> I'm going to go this week. Russell Henley, 50 to 1. And. Nikolai Hoygaard, 80 to 1. Nikolai. Too big. We will go three points each way, one, two points each way, the other. But probably Hideki wins, unfortunately. I have to agree with him. But yeah, yes. we will see you all next week for the Masters preview where we'll have a special guest here, hopefully. Ooh. Is it Sky coming me, on? It starts me yeah. on to discuss golf with these two fish. I've been Jack Milner. He's been Tom Halliwell. And he's Who's coming been... on? Marv, and we will see you all next week. Don't bring a live golfer on Twig, whatever you do. <laughs> we'll see.